I am Ben with the Trailhead. And Burn Peak and Seth are wrong. Here's why. Check us out on other platforms. So recently, um, Burn Peak and Seth, uh, formerly known as Seth Bikex, released a series of videos on the Trent Travail, um, which is an outstandingly capable bike that isn't that expensive. It starts at $398. Um, so the big thing about this bike, for $398, you're able to get on the mountain bike trails. It comes with a fork that's extremely capable, that actually comes on bikes that cost almost twice its price. It comes with a one-by drivetrain. It comes with modern bars, modern stem. It basically is a affordable modern bike. But Seth, in his video that he released today, basically said it's not worth the money. Here's why he's wrong. So, I, first off, I, I hate doing this, but because of who Seth is, I feel like it needs to be said. Because when people search the Trent Travail, his video is probably going to come up first because he's the biggest YouTuber when it comes to bikes. And a lot of people see what he says as gospel. And I really think it needs, I really think the Trent Travail needs a second look. So what the Trent Travail is, this is what Seth got wrong. It is a affordable bike for someone who wants to get on the trails without doing upgrades right away. A mountain biker who doesn't want money can buy this bike hit the trails and enjoy it as is. And then slowly upgrade down the road. So all these upgrades I agree with. They were they were the right upgrades for the bike besides the fork. He should have left the fork alone. The reason I say that is when he upgraded the fork, he bumped it up to the same price as the bikes he was comparing it to. If you're comparing it apples to apples, Yes, it's not going to win, but you're not comparing apples to apples. When you're comparing it to that trek and that canyon, it's $150 cheaper. So it actually is a good value because what he kept mentioning in his video, all those bikes came with the same fork that came on it at the very beginning. So I love Seth to get, uh, I love Seth to death. He is a YouTuber that I strive to be like. I enjoy his content. A lot of people enjoy his content, but he's wrong on this. And I really don't want people to stay away from bikes like this because of that. There's a whole community about upgrading these cheap bikes. And it's a great way to get into mountain biking without spending a lot of money. So definitely don't ignore the Trent Travail. Do upgrade slowly over time as they're needed. Um, example, the bottom bracket on his went out. That's when you upgrade it. You don't do it right away like he did. You look at it as an investment and you slowly invest more money over time. And then it doesn't hurt your pocket as quickly. Because, yes, you could wait an extra three months or four months, however long it takes you to save up the extra money, to buy that Trek right off the bat. Or you could buy the Trent, I mean the Kent, get on the trail, have fun, and then upgrade it as you need to. So, I just, I wanted to post this video because I don't want people to be afraid of the Kent Travail. I think it's an excellent bike. And for, there's YouTubers that specialize in this. Uh, definitely check out uh, Kev Central. He is like the mecca of upgrading inexpensive bikes and making them better for value. And this is what he preaches, upgrading over time, allowing that cost to spread out over a year or however long you want to take it so you can enjoy your bike. So something a little different. I'm sorry, I, I normally don't uh, I'd ever call out anybody, but I don't want this to be what people find when they search the Trent Travail. I'm hoping, I know I'm not going to get as many views as he is, but hopefully this is enough to maybe stop someone to second guess what he said about it and consider inexpensive bikes like the Trent, the Kent. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.
check us out on other platforms 